A leader is defined by strength, purpose, determination. But a great leader is far more dimensional. Hugh McCall has always known that balance is the secret to success. And with the development of Charlotte, USA, a brand built on Hugh's vision, one that put the region on the map and introduced a new global player, we achieved that balance and then some. The balance between corporate strength and personal philanthropy, business and pleasure, art and commerce, hometown pride and regional growth. When you look at where we are today, and think about where we're going. Clearly you understand that Hugh was an integral part of everything that's been good about our community and about our region. For us to build this great world-class city, a healthy regional economy, it needed to be built on the foundation of a vibrant urban core. I recall one day walking down Tryon Street and we were talking about what makes a great city. We were comparing and talking about the uh, city, the great cities like Paris and London and Rome and uh, perhaps even New York and San Francisco and uh, one of the things that we uh, were making a comparison was how nice it was to have Greasy Spoon restaurants on the same street that you could sit down at a white tablecloth restaurant. Uh, but that's really what made it go, the diversity in a city where you had uh, both the rich and the poor seeking their fortunes in the same place in the same kind of environment. Uh, and he'd give that kind of faraway look to say, we can make that happen, you know. Probably his greatest attribute has been the ability to change his focus as times passed and the environment around him changed. It always grew bigger. When it was, uh, when it was uh, NCNB, he wanted to be Nations Bank. When it was Nations Bank, he wanted to be Bank of America. When he was a large regional bank, he wanted to be the largest financial institution in this country. And I think those kinds of, of uh, ideas and focus are what made him so special. He's, he's the kind of man, there's almost nothing he can't do except fit into my suit. He had not only a, a, a broad vision for what the region could do, but a broad vision of who in the region could do it. And he, he understood, I think, the importance that you couldn't have the South reaching for greatness without unleashing the potential of all the people there. I think one of the surprising things to a lot of people who don't know Hugh or who have just gotten to know him is the fact that he's, he's, he's a very uh, compassionate person. He's a man of humanity. Mr. McCall got involved with Habitat for Humanity in 1986 when we had the Jimmy Carter Project in Charlotte and he raised a lot of money for Habitat Charlotte, $900,000, which was a lot of money in 86. Uh, but he really got hooked on Habitat in 88 when we did a five house, 24 hour blitz here in Charlotte. Habitat is very meaningful to Mr. McCall for several reasons. And I think one of the most important is about how Habitat brings together people. People focused on making a difference, people from all walks of life, very diverse backgrounds, but it is about building community and building relationships and serving families, the working families in our community. He and I have had made several trips down to rural Mexico to work with families uh, through Habitat for Humanity. And we show up in these communities uh, that we have language differences, um, but yet by the end of the week, we are one. We are a very close-knit group. Uh, one story I'd like to share is in rural Mexico where the children uh, just loved Mr. McCall uh, all week long. They're running around, playing with him. Um, tugging on his, his shirt, trying to get his attention as he's trying to, uh, to build a house. And uh, by the end of the week, they're all, the whole, all the children in the community are calling him El Abuela, my grandpa. Hugh built partnerships. Well, I think he understand innately the importance of public-private partnerships, that, 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 that the business sector had to step up to the line it had a part and a role to play in the overall development of the community. And I can think of numerous examples in which he and his bank were aggressive in causing things to happen. Uh, the McCall Center has been an unbelievable investment into Charlotte. 
Uh, it is celebrated as one of the top artist in residence programs uh, in the United States, and it brings fresh artists into our community. And if you think about how that changes the culture of a community, bringing in new ideas, new forms of art, and having them apply those trades here. If you go back and look at what Charlotte was when he moved here in the late 60s, and think about what it's become since that period of time, what we've all watched. I mean, very few of us ever understood that we could think about a Final Four, or that we could think about professional football, or we could think about the largest financial institution in the world, or the medical facilities that are second to none in this whole region. Everything he touched, you know, was better for it. Charlotte Center City Partners has this new campaign called Find Your Center. The theory behind Find Your Center is that there is something in the center city that centers each of us. That it's, it's a special place and it is not someone else's downtown. And I believe this is what Mr. McCall envisioned, is the creation of a place that is owned by the whole region. And it's, it's our living room. It's, it's a shared place. It's our commons where we all come together uh, to celebrate our community. And I don't think anybody understood that better or articulated that vision better than Mr. McCall. When I first went to him running for mayor in 1979 or so, uh, he said to me, you know, I'm going to offer my support to you, but there may be some people on my board that might object to that. That's the kind of courage he had, to step up and say, look, I think you'll be the best leader for the city, and I'm going to get behind you. Of course, you know, when Hugh McCall supports you, you get a lot of other people who uh, decide to move in that direction. Within our company of Bank of America, he set a culture of giving, giving to one another, supporting one another, and really supporting the communities and the regions in which we work. And that culture continues so strongly, but it was something that Mr. McCall established and he led from the front. I think people would be surprised just how active and engaged Mr. McCall is and what a resource he remains for me in, in fulfilling the mission and responsibility of Center City Partners. And in the end, he's only set the table for the next generation, but that would be the way he'd want it. It was, it was this audacity to believe that the region where he was born could be the leader and show the way for the rest of the country. And um, that passion and that vision, I think, worked very well. Him and for us. Through a life well-lived, in a region well-planned and well-defined, Hugh McCall's vision continues to serve as a blueprint for progress, prosperity, and equality.